And can I hear an amen? amen? And because of the work that we do here at Revelation Television, we are, with your help, changing lives. God is changing people's lives by what people see when they're watching the TV. Let me just ask you very quickly, very briefly, to raise your hand if something amazing has happened in your life because of what you saw on Revelation Television. Raise your hand. If you have like, if you like a testimony, God was really gracious to me because I heard that message. God was wonderful to me because I heard that thing. That guy said that. I know a testimony, uh, and it doesn't really apply to this television station. It's another one abroad. But I know this, that that television station saved the life of one man because he was watching the television, and he was watching Christian television, and he didn't have a satellite dish, and the signal was going through his video, ca uh, video recorder. No one knows how, but the guy was going to kill himself. He was literally going to end his life that day. And all of a sudden, somebody came on the TV and said, I know that you're thinking of ending your life. I know. I would plead with you to stop and listen to this message. The man was born again. And there was no satellite dish. There was a broken video recorder that was picking up that signal. Because of Christian television, someone's life was saved. And I would absolutely. Think of, it, think of it this way, and I, I love this picture. If you can imagine a cliff face, and if you can imagine a really high cliff face, and it's a sheer drop, and imagine that there is a man, and he's stuck in the middle of the cliff. Something's gone wrong. He can't go up, he can't go down. He's stuck. So somebody sees that, and they call the um, Coast Guard. The Coast Guard is scrambled. The Coast Guard looks at the situation and says, no, we need the police, we need the fire, and we need ambulance. They send the police cars, the fire engines, and the ambulance, they're all looking there. They, they don't really know what they can do. So they scramble the chopper from um, an RAF base. All of those people, beloved, are gathered together to save the life of that one man. How much did that cost? You think about the fuel for the helicopters, the wages of all the people that are involved, everything that's going on. How much do you think that uh, safety, that, that uh, saving cost? A great deal of money, would you agree? Yes. So what should we do then? Just say, no, we're not going to bother with that. He'll have to just try and work it out himself. Or are we going to spend thousands upon thousands upon thousands to save the life of one person who is stuck? We choose to spend the money to save the life for that one who is stuck. Let me tell you, beloved, there are people watching this channel right now, right at this very moment, whose lives are in tatters. And we can only bring them the message of Jesus Christ because of what you do. Because of the way that you put your hand in your pocket and you say, we're going to support you, Revelation, because of what you do. We love you and we appreciate you, so we're going to support you. And that actually is what we're asking you to do today on this 8th birthday celebration. Here in the audience in... in um, New Malden, you, you would have probably come in and found envelopes, but it seems to me that half of you have slung them away. I don't know why. You can jolly well find them. I'm talking to you, actually. Yours isn't there. If you look around you or under your seat, you're going to find an envelope. Okay? What I'm asking you to do is not only give us an offering, 
But I want to put this word in your mind. Sacrificial. That's what I want to ask you to do. And if you're at home watching this right now, what I'd like you to do is I'd like you to decide that you'd like to make an offering as well. So that we can continue the work here at Revelation Television because this work is life changing and it's really, really important. And what you can do at home is to simply call us in the morning, Monday to Friday, call us tomorrow morning. Oh, uh, the telephone number is 0208 972 That is the office number. Call us tomorrow and then give us your donation there for the 8th birthday. And just say whoever answers the phone, this is an offering for the 8th birthday. You in the studio here, if you wouldn't mind, could you make your offering in your envelope that you have. And then on your way out, you'll find a basket. If you'd just like to drop your, drop your envelope in the basket, that would be absolutely wonderful. I want to pray. Father God, we thank you for your mercy. We thank you for your all-consuming love. Your never-ending, unfailing love, Lord. And we ask you, Father, to bless the hearts of each one as they give to your service. As they give to what you would have us do. And Lord Jesus, we give you the honor. And we give you the glory. And we give you the power. In the name of Yahshua. Amen. Amen. Thank you. Thank you, David. Okay, just before we close today, just wanted to bring up our presenters. Um, maybe the first row first. Just come up and just say a couple of words. Mark, Vicky, David, Jimmy. Barry and Matt, who you are? Your presenters on Revelation TV, you know? <laughs> Just literally pass the mic from one to the other and the presenters are going to be there for the rest of the afternoon. Do please come and have a chat with them. Mark, shall I give you the mic first quickly? Okay. Afternoon all. Um, oh, it, the biggest privilege that anyone could ever have is to draw up alongside someone that is hurting in physical, mental or spiritual pain. And um, that's what I've been doing for two years, eight months on Voice in the Wilderness. I stopped in August um, and it was with Steve the Thumb. Who was Steve the Thumb? What a awesome man of God he is. He was here yesterday. He's not here today. Um, but he released um, such support for me, sitting next to me for those three hours on a Wednesday night. And wow, <coughs> all I can say is that we can watch many Christian channels. And to tell you the truth, the gospel is being perverted before our very eyes. And unless you're walking in divine, perfect health, with perfect financial means every minute of the day then you're doing something wrong and I believe that the Lord put me there in that little seat in the wee small hours to actually bring the gospel back to what it is God does want to heal you God does want to set you free God does um, financially support every one of his children because that's what a heavenly father does but unfortunately what many people seem to forget is that he uses a process Isaiah 48 10 I will refine you in the furnace of affliction Unless you lose Lord, your life for my sake, then you will find it. And that's what me and Steve did. We sat there and we drew alongside people that were at the end of their tether, wanted support, wanted a word. And that's what we did. And there was no greater privilege. I have sat in that London taxi for 16 years, wondering what is God's will for my life, sitting there talking to myself in, in total pain. My life is a life of pain, really. Spiritual agony. OCD has the nickname of the silent agony. And you put a face on it, and you laugh and you smile, and you get on with it. But in that agony, you meet Christ. And you meet grace, and you meet mercy. The cross of Christ is the way to true life. Unless you lose your life for my sake, then you will find it. Put yourself last, put Christ first, and everything else will be met. This is my lovely wife, Vicky.
Um, thank you all so, so much for coming today and sharing with us and chatting with us. And um, we look forward later to hearing more of your stories. And uh, thank you for your support of Revelation TV. Thank you for all tuning into uh, She Matters. We know the guys do as well, not just the girls. And chat back. I don't know if you saw our program Wednesday afternoons, fortnightly, wasn't it? And uh, we chat about almost anything. And uh, Five Alive, we had a go at, which was brilliant. Work, it's working with my hobby, it was great. So thank you so much, all of you, for your support. And may it continue. Hi, um, I just spoke to you just now, didn't I? I'm sure I did. Um, I'm David Aldous. I present a program called A Time to Worship. Um, for me, A Time to Worship is exactly that. It's a time to worship. And we are very blessed in the fact that it goes out live on a Friday afternoon at half past four. Uh, when that started, I didn't know what the audience would be like because it's half past four and it's on a Friday and I thought, well, people will be coming home from work. But the audience is growing and growing and growing all the time and I give God the glory for that. And what happens on that program is we worship and we worship God in spirit and in truth. And the testimonies keep on flooding in. Just a couple of weeks ago, a lady who was confined to a wheelchair is now out of the wheelchair. And not only that, only uh, Friday, this last Friday afternoon, uh, Martin, my director, is actually behind that camera there. But Martin, uh, I told Martin, I said, you'll never guess what, I've just received another email. And it comes from another lady in a wheelchair. And she is now standing. It's just phenomenal. And this goes on and on and on because we give God the glory. And that's the important thing. We praise and we worship. Thank you very, very much. Hello, everyone. God bless you. I um, just want to say thank you so much for supporting us on Revelation TV. Thank you for watching all our programs and contributing. I hope you enjoy She Matters, bring it with me and Jane sitting over there. But I hope you just enjoy what we do. And I just thank God for your lives and thank you for your support. Amen. Actually, like she said, I want to thank you all for your support from day one. And I pray that the Lord will continue to enlarge your coasts. Yeah. In Jesus' name. Amen. And whatever you do, don't touch it. Hallelujah. Well, we're doing the Shabbat live. Uh, how many of you have seen the Shabbat live? And uh, yesterday, uh, yes, I, I just uh, shared with a woman yesterday, a sister in the Lord, and she just asked me about what's so special, you know, and the separation between the Messianic Jews and Christians. And I said, no, actually it's all about how we are getting ready for the coming of the Lord that we will all know about our Hebraic uh, Jewish biblical roots. And I said, Shabbat is actually a, a, a biblical feast. And I said, it's up for all of us to celebrate and enjoy God's blessings. So, um... I just enjoy knowing that I don't have to cook for Shabbat when I come here. Angie's doing that, and she does a good job. Anyhow, talk about food. Here is my husband. Amen. Well, before the next Roots and Reflection series uh, programs, the new series comes out, I'm losing weight because I do love to eat. And as of February 14th, we will now be broadcasting Roots and Reflections every Monday, Wednesday, and Friday evening at 8 o'clock p.m. So that many more that uh, don't usually stay up later in the evening will be able to see it. And as of April, you'll also begin to see new areas and experience new foods and smells. And all I've got to say to all of you is, one for you. <laughs> and... For me. <laughs> okay.
Hi, my name is Birgit. Um, it's